Hey, thanks for coming in for another video. My name is Rochelle. I'm your microbiology trainer. I'm giving you an inside look into my micro study program. Now, my program is designed to be interactive and repetitive. So, in this video, it's a short clip on nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. Oh my. Now, in these series of slides, you're going to pick the correct answer. So here we have synthesizes nucleic acids and phospholipids. And you have to pick which one is the correct answer. Our next slide is this element is used to synthesize specific amino acids and vitamins. You pick the correct answer. Here, this element is a part of amino group of an amino acid of protein. It is part of a cycle where bacteria and others use ammonium ions, nitrate ions, and nitrogen gas. What is the energy source of chemoheterotrophs, chemoautotrophs, and photoautotrophs? Nitrogen, carbon, or sulfur? Now these elements are trace elements or cofactors. Okay. On this slide, what are these elements? Are they trace elements or cofactors? Here you type the name of the microbe that corresponds with the definition. All right. In my microbiology study program, I have fill in the blank outlines. So you can use these outlines as you read your textbook or in class while you listen to your instructor or while you're watching a YouTube video. Well, what I recommend is taking this fill in the blank outline and filling it in as much as possible before you open up your textbook and look at your notes. After you do that, go to the Test Your Knowledge Interactive Slides. This will reinforce all the information and help you to recall and remember the information that you learned from your instructor and what you got from your textbook. After you've done your Test Your Knowledge Interactive Slides, go back to your outline and fill in what you did not fill in the first time. After you do that, go to your Practice Foundation Questions. Now, in my study program, I have fill in the blank outlines, test your knowledge, interactive slides, and 30 to 50 questions per chapter. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email address is in the description box. If you need any tips on how to study microbiology, my blog is in the description box. Well, I can't wait to hear from you. Talk to you soon.